Welcome to the set of the NBA tonight. Mike Hill hanging out with Tim Legler. The good news for the Lakers is they knocked off the Warriors on Tuesday night. Bad news for the team is for the second straight game, they got some kind of controversy that's going on with the team. Sunday, it was Kobe being benched by Mike Brown. And on Tuesday night against the Warriors, Andrew Bynum played just five minutes, one point in the second half in that win. It was Lala Gagan took a three, ill-advised three, seen laughing on the bench. Is it a maturity level uh, issue for uh, Andrew Bynum at this point in his Lakers career? There is no question about it. And he has become the second best center in the NBA behind Dwight Howard. And if he wants to really maintain that status or even elevate himself eventually to the top center in the game, he's going to have to grow up. And, and you look at two games now in a week that Andrew Bynum basically did not participate in the second half of. One, a loss to the Houston Rockets when he gets ejected, picks up a second technical foul, then is seen high-fiving fans on the way to the locker room, misses the second half of that game for the most part, they lose. Tonight, fortunate to win this game against Golden State because he doesn't give them anything in the second half because he elects to come down and shoot a trail three, five seconds into the shot clock in a six-point game in the second half. Clearly not a shot. He's only taken four threes the entire season. Most of those end up late mm -hmm. in shot clock situations. That, to me, a complete disregard for Mike Brown, for your teammates. And then when you come out of the game, when Mike Brown took him out, he sat there, thought it was pretty funny, got a good chuckle out of the three-pointer that he took and did not seem to care very much that he was not going back in the game. It's a maturity issue, and it's something that could derail the Lakers if he doesn't get it under control. You started off this by saying two controversial situations. To me, Sunday was controversial because that's Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. and he's won five rings, and he's not used to having that, that happen to him when he comes out of the game in the fourth quarter when it's not his own volition. This isn't controversial. This is good coaching to me. Right. You've got to set the tone with a young player like that. Like, I don't know who you think you are, that you've arrived, and that you're that comfortable in what you've been doing do you think? Do you think he's gotten too comfortable I because think all that's the a trade part of it. talk is over with now? Can you imagine him ever doing that under Phil Jackson? No way. He's comfortable right now, and I don't think he has enough respect for Mike Brown. And basically, to me, a player does that. You are daring him to do something about it. And Mike Brown showed you his response. And fortunately, the Lakers got that win. So that really sends a message home even more to a young player. They were able to to get that win with you on the bench. Like you said, he probably wouldn't do it on the Phil Jackson, and obviously Mike Brown's not going to stand for it either. No, I, I, I applaud Mike Brown for taking him out of the game. We'll see how the Lakers respond to this one.